Today we are going somewhere over the rainbow to follow the yellow brick road to the Emerald City of Oz. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel, Being a Jean Claire. This is week 12 of The Great Movie Ride. Yes, we have made it to the end of The Great Movie Ride. If you've been following our channel, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But if you're new here, you're probably wondering, what? <laughs> so let me give you a little bit of background. My friend Matt over at Teacup for One has been hosting this amazing movie journey over the last 12 weeks that featured a movie from Disney's Great Movie Ride, which has been replaced by Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. So this week, we are doing The Wizard of Oz, the very final movie that was shown in The Great Movie Ride. This is a collaboration with several other YouTube channels, all of whom will be linked down in the description box below. Make sure you check out Matt's video, he is amazing, and check out every other video in this collaboration. Everybody's doing something different and so amazing and so much fun. So my contribution to the great movie ride journey is typically cocktails. And I don't normally do cocktails that are based off of the characters in the film. The other movies that I have participated in, like um, Alien and Fantasia, have had very few characters. But The Wizard of Oz has many characters all of whom are significant, all of whom are relevant, and I couldn't choose, and I couldn't decide. So we're just gonna like make a few drinks that are based on as many of the characters in the film that I can possibly think of <laughs> to make a drink on. Starting with our heroine, little old Dorothy. Little old Dorothy from Kansas, who just couldn't take it anymore. She had to run away because they tried to take a little dog Toto away from her. And when she ran away, she gets caught up in the cyclone that lands her in Munchkin Land. So our first drink is going to be a tribute to Dorothy. We start with just a blue rimmed shot it's because it's simple. She's a simple girl from Kansas. However, throughout the movie, Dorothy progresses and grows. And she grows from being this whiny little girl who doesn't really appreciate being home to having a great appreciation for her aunt. And she just really wants to go home. And iconically, Dorothy is known for wearing this checkered blue and white dress and her iconic little pigtails. So we're gonna make a drink that is going to take into account Dorothy's aesthetic. So we have our citrus vodka here. I poured it in a shot glass, but we're gonna actually end up pouring it in our glass. I would normally do like a shaker, but we're just gonna stir this one. So we have our citrus vodka. We're gonna add just a tad bit more to that. There we go. So two parts of vodka. And then we're gonna add in just a little bit of triple sec. So we have a citrus vodka, we have a triple sec. And for Dorothy's dress aesthetic, we're just gonna add in a little bit of blue curacao or as my friend Alisa de la Cruz would say, blue curacao. <laughs> and then we are just going to take this and stir it up. Stir it up, add some ice. Normally I would use tongs, but I'm at home making this for myself, so we're not doing that. Shake it up and voila we have our Dorothy cocktail. It helps that I serve it in a blue glass to make the blue look extra blue, but the drink is blue enough with the blue curacao, you'll be fine without it. So we all know Dorothy runs away, she tries to go back home, she gets caught up in a cyclone, her whole entire house gets swept away, and she lands in a place called Munchkin Land. Unbeknownst to Dorothy, she lands on the Wicked Witch of the East. <laughs> And she kills her. Out of nowhere, from this beautiful bubble, appears Glinda the Good Witch. Glinda wants to know one thing. Dorothy, are you a good witch or a bad witch? Now, that's a funny question since bad witches are ugly. So Glinda, are you asking, am I ugly? I mean, because if you look at Dorothy, right? She's a good witch, because she's pretty. So, <laughs> but anyway, 
moving on. Um, so Glenda wants to know, are you a good witch or are you a bad witch? Dorothy's like, I'm not any witch. I'm just Dorothy from Candace and I don't know where I am. So Glenda's like, well, you killed the wicked witch of the East and only witches have that power. So you must be some kind of a witch. And Dorothy's like, I don't know what you're talking about, lady. I'm just trying to get back home with my Annie M. Well, in comes the Munchkins. Who are the Munchkins? They are the colorful people of Munchkin land. So our next cocktail is going to be based off of the colorful, wonderful people of Munchkin land. So we have some pineapple juice mixed with mango rum, which is one of my favorites, some blue curacao, and some grenadine. The munchkins are cute and they're fun, and so that is what we're going to do here. We're gonna make a cute, fun drink. So we're gonna pour in some grenadine. And then we want the grenadine to be at the bottom, so that's why we're gonna put the grenadine in first, and then we're gonna add some ice. Just wanna fill that glass up with ice. Then we are going to add in our rum and pineapple juice and leave some room at the top because we are going to top it off with our blue, with our blue, with our blue curacao. Now I will say for the blue, you don't want to just dash it on because you don't want it to go straight down the center. So you want to kind of flood the back of a spoon so that the blue just kind of sits at the top. There you go. Um, that sunk a little bit, but we're gonna leave it. And I don't think I put enough juice in, but that's okay. Here is our drink tribute to the Munchkins. And if you wanna do something fun, let's see, you can take like some little rainbow candies and stick that in your glass and now you have a nice little rainbow drink for our munchkins so of course as we all know the dorothy story doesn't stop there right so after after she meets the munchkins in comes <laughs> the wicked witch of the west who wants to know who is the person who killed her sister, the Wicked Witch of the East. And of course it's Dorothy. So, now we're gonna make a drink for the Wicked Witch of the West. We have some green kinky here, which is a funny little cocktail that you can drink pretty much straight up out of the bottle, so we have this green rimmed shot glass and we're just going to pour in some kinky and we could probably just stop there with the witch mm, that is so good however it can get a little sweet the bad witch isn't really sweet at all so what we're going to do is i'm going to put some ice in this glass and we're going to take this kinky pour it over some ice Maybe just a little bit more. And then we are going to top that off with some cucumber and lime vodka. Because we don't want our good, our bad witch to be sweet, sweet. We want our bad witch to be bittersweet, which is what she is, bitter and sweet. Well, not even bitter and sweet. She's just, I mean, she's sweet because she cared about her sister, but she really just wanted her shoes. So um, we just want her to be a little bitter. And because she is a bad witch, we want to give her a little bit of black specks of pixie dust. Not a lot, just a few tiny specks of some shimmer dust. Because we don't want to turn her drink black. We just want to have like some little, shimmers in there there we go and voila you can top this off with more kinky if you want a taller glass there you go or you can top it off with more vodka if you want a fuller glass <laughs> so you can make this about as much or as little as you would like 
if you're measuring out and you just do kind of two parts of um, the kinky and two parts of the vodka, you're going to have just like a half of a, a glass here. But there you go. Here is our Wicked Witch. And if you look closely, you can see our little black shimmers in there. This is refreshing. You can taste the hint of sweet so that the cucumber lime vodka isn't so strong, but it's still strong because it's basically vodka and vodka. Um, Cause Kinky is like, a, like a, a, a vodka that you can kind of, it's like infused with vodka that you can drink by itself. So be mindful of these drinks because they're 90% alcohol. <laughs> And that is our good, our bad witch, our wicked witch of the West. So, oh, Dorothy's met the Munchkin, she's met Glenda the Good Witch, she's met the Wicked Witch of the West, and she just wants to go home. So Glenda tells her to go to find the Wizard of Oz. And to get there, she has to follow the Yellow Brick Road. So she commences her journey down the Yellow Brick Road to Oz. And of course, she meets the scarecrow and so our next cocktail is going to be based on the scarecrow and this is going to be a very simple drink because the scarecrow was a very simple character we are going to take some apple whiskey mix that with some peach whiskey and just top it off with a little bit of amaretto and we're going to serve that in a gimlet because this is straight up whiskey and we don't want to put it in a glass like this. I mean, you could put straight up whiskey in a glass like that. I've done it over some ice, but that is a lot of whiskey. So we're just going to sip it. Here we go. And some amaretto. And you don't want a lot of this, like unless you like like the almond, sweet almond flavor. It's not my biggest jam, but I do like to have a hint of it because it makes the drink a little bit sweeter. And voila, we have our scarecrow. Let's taste. That's very smooth and very sweet, very nice. I think that's a great representation for our scarecrow. So after she meets the scarecrow who needs a brain from the wizard, goes the scarecrow ends up going with Dorothy on her journey to Oz. So the two of them are now following the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. And scratch! They come upon the Tin Man. See, that's the Tin Man. <laughs> this is basically some silver cake sprinkly decorations in a glass. So the Tin Man, he is standing outside and he can't move, he can barely talk until he gets his oil can. They find his oil can, they get him talking and he lets them know that he's been standing there for a whole year because he rusted in the rain. And he needs to go to Oz because he needs a heart. So here's our Tin Man drink. We're gonna take some peach vodka, some peach schnapps, and we're just gonna mix it over some shimmery silver um, cake decorations to represent our Tin Man. He's silver, he's metal. That's about all there is and he needs a heart. So, this one was super simple and we're just going to stir it up. I would prepare your glass well in advance so that the, um, the candies have a chance to kind of stick to the glass and then they won't move around once you pour. So there's our Tin Man. However, our Tin Man did need to go to Oz to get a heart so if you so choose, you can give your Tin Man a little heart by adding in some red. You can either add in red maraschino cherries. I have chosen to add in red Sour Ball candies because we are in Oz and something about the munchkins remind me of candy. 
So I figured it should be candy and not cherries. So we have the Tin Man who is on his journey with Dorothy and the Scarecrow and they are following the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road until they come to roar! The Cowardly Lion. Okay, so Cowardly Lion. This is going to be, I've been actually really excited about this one. So the Cowardly Lion, we're going to do some gold Bacardi, some chocolate liqueur, a little shot of butter shot, and some rum chata. Because it's brown, it's strong, it's sweet, it's weak, it's all of the things that the Cowardly Lion is. But most of all, it's delicious. So we are just going to take two parts of our Bacardi. And we really want the Bacardi to be the gold Bacardi because of the color, because we want to represent the brown color of the lion. And then we are going to mix it with some chocolate liqueur, which is brown. And I'm gonna do three parts of the chocolate liqueur and two parts of the rum chata. We're gonna do two parts of the rum chata And you don't want to do too much ronchata if you're trying to keep the drink to be more brown because the ronchata is white and it will make your drink not brown. <laughs> and then we're just going to take just a tad of the butter scotch schnapps to make it taste all sweet and gooey like we learn the cowardly lion is. He's not really cowardly. He's just needing a little bit of extra oomph to find his courage. And there we have it. You can serve this over ice. I tend not to like to put ice in my, um, in my more creamy drinks only because I don't like the water from the ice to melt in my drink. If you want it to be colder, you can use reusable ice cubes. I would suggest that instead of regular ice cubes because this is not the kind of drink where you want your ice to melt and water down your drink. So here we go. Oh, this is good. This is really, oh my gosh. If you like creamy drinks, like I would drink this with like some chocolate cake. <gasps> yes! This kind of a drink with a dessert. Oh my goodness. So we are following the yellow brick road. We now have all of our travel companions. She has the scarecrow, she has the tin man, and she has the lion. And they follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. Follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. Follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. So they follow the yellow brick road all the way to the Emerald City of Oz, where everything is beautiful and green. And they see this beautiful palace where they're going to find the great wizard of Oz that is going to take Dorothy home, give the scarecrow a brain, give the tin man a heart, and give the lion some courage. Well, that's the plan. And of course, nothing goes according to plan. The Wicked Witch of the West shows up again. She snatches the dog, she snatches Dorothy, the Tin Man, the Lion, and the Scarecrow go save Dorothy. They kill the Wicked Witch of the West. I'm melting, I'm melting, I'm melting, I'm melting, I'm melting. 
is going according to plan. The wizard is going to help Dorothy get back home. He's already given the lion his courage. He's given the scarecrow his brains. He's given the tin man his heart. And then of course that dang Toto goes and runs off again and Dorothy takes off after him. The balloon goes in the air. The Wizard of Oz can't stop it. And now Dorothy has no way home again. And in comes who to save the day? Glinda, the good witch. Now Glinda comes in all sparkly and pink and lively and she tells Dorothy, You've had the power to go home all along, but you had to learn it for yourself. So here is our drink for Glenda the Good Witch. You can do this one with or without ice. We're gonna do it without ice. We're just gonna take a little bit of kinky, because I think anybody who wears that much pink in a crown, probably a little kinky. And we're going to add in some pink lemonade vodka. And this should make a nice, refreshing summer cocktail because we have kinky pink, we have pink lemonade vodka, and we're just gonna top it off with some strawberry watermelon sparkling water. And again, you can serve this over ice or you can drink it straight. Um, I, I'm always debating about putting ice in my drinks because I don't like my drinks watered down. But here we have Glenda the Good Witch. Now this is refreshing. I would actually probably, if you're not gonna put ice in this, I would take it and stick it in a freezer and let it get super, super cold. Drink it on a hot day and voila, there you have it. So Dorothy does what Glenda says. She clicks her heels three times and she ends up back home where she started with her Annie M and the rest of her family. Guys, <laughs> I have made a mess of my kitchen over the last several weeks bringing you guys these drinks, but it has been so much fun. So let's do a quick recap here. We have our drink for Dorothy or our shot that represents Dorothy, blue blue. We have our gimlet for Scarecrow. We have our Tin Man with his heart and our courageous Cowardly Lion. And let's not forget the munchkins of Munchkin Land, the Wicked Witch of the West in a small shot form as well as cocktail form. And last but certainly not least, my favorite, Glinda the Good Witch. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you can get more fun content like this. And make sure you watch everyone's video in this collaboration. It's such an amazing collaboration. Matt, you have done an amazing job over the past 12 weeks hosting this collab week after week, bringing us a new movie, a new spin, a new tale. I am so grateful to be a part of it. And guys, grab a cocktail and have a great day.